piano is talking back to me again. Here we are again, another edition of the not so pink bass in the pink bass cave. <laughs> so what we have here is a 1984 Rickenbacker 4003, or Rickenbacker for those of you who want to say it that way. No worries. This one has an interesting story. It was gotten for me. Uh, gotten for me. It was appropriated for me uh, by a friend of mine named Andy Irvine. You all know Andy Irvine. Hey, everybody! It's Andy Irvine. So he got this for me, and I sent him something cool. Anyway, this guitar was refinished who knows when. Uh, it's hard to tell what color it was originally. It's kind of a gunmetal silver, like a charcoal dark, almost a black, but sparkles. Other than that, most of it's original. Uh, the rear pickup has been changed out for something later. So this is a Rick pickup, but it came from something probably 86, 87, just based on what it looks like, or possibly early 90s. Uh, a couple other things here, when they put it back together at some point, the jacks got switched. So the stereo jack is actually up top, where it shouldn't be. It should be here. So I'm going to fix all that. And it's a little bit noisy. It's got a little bit of a ground thing going. So I'm going to get in here and kind of tinker with the wiring, make sure that there is no capacitor choking the back pickup. Uh, make sure that everything is kind of on the level and give it that sound. So let's go through this, as I always do. Uh, a couple of other things here real quick before we get started. Uh, these bases were made with two-piece necks instead of three like the 4001. And the newer 4003s actually have a one-piece neck. And a lot of them just don't feel comfortable to me, so I always kind of go after some older ones. A couple other things here, you'll notice the two-piece pick guard. Just like on the Red 85 that I've got, the truss rods adjust down here instead of up here. Uh, this neck is incredibly thin and flat. It almost feels like a 74 that a certain person that I know owns. Also, it has the seven screw bridge. So there are two extra screws on the back side here. These are factory screws. This was all about the early 4003. Okay. So it is a kind of a departure from the 4001 on construction and in tone because it sounds a little different. It has a little more of a mid range to it, which these are not known for mid range. Usually you have to dial it in their highs, lows, and you kind of sneak it. This one actually has a little more mid-range to it. I have done nothing to this guitar except put strings on it. These are the usual Kalium strings that I use. And let's go for it. So as always, it starts out, everything is wide open. So this one, wide open. Has a very mellow tone to it. It's not as aggressive as some of the other Ricks that I have have had or have played with. So let's start on the front pickup only. So volume is dimed and the tone knob is dimed. Has a really old school kind of thump to it. So if I take the tone down, hear that little sub frequency I hear it in the cabinets in the MPEG um, where it's coming from anybody's guess it could be how it's wired not sure yet haven't tinkered so we'll put that back on let's go out to the back pickup now same riff we'll do it with it wide open okay so it sounds to me like the capacitor is in there because this pickup should be equally hot or hotter than this one. So at some point here, the doctor is in and the surgery will happen. We'll get that cap bypass and the back pickup will probably come blasting out of here like crazy. So again, now turn down the tone. Okay, so that's kind of the back pickup by itself choked. All right, so let's do both. Turn the tones down. Like a black Sabbath song. Except it goes to F. Name the Sabbath song. Okay, 
Okay, so that's what it sounds like with the tones both off. Now again, wide open, diming it. So we'll go back with our sad breath just for fun. Now, for those of you who, again, have been keeping up, how about a slaughter riff? Okay. As always, I'm going to turn this out. As always, if you have questions about this Rick bass or any of the other ones that you've seen me post, fire away with questions. If you see it on YouTube straight, Facebook, wherever you find this, if you have a question or you want to ask something about this bass or some of the other ones, fire away. Until then, next time, let's play some more bass, shall we? And off we go.